Hi guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. It is Nikki here. So today I am barefaced because I've been wanting to do this for a while but I was like oh I keep doing like Bollywood looks or I keep doing wearable looks, I keep doing gold looks, warm looks and then I woke up this morning and I was like you know what, so what, it's my channel, I'm going to do another gold look, I'm going to do a Bollywood style look just because I feel like this set is beautiful, it was gifted to me by India Trend and I haven't actually worn it on my channel yet, I just, it's giving me like princess, desi, Bollywood, Indian glam vibes, of course as per usual I have absolutely no idea but I've chucked in with some of my staple loves i've chucked in some new pieces of makeup that we're going to try out today on our camera so let's just get into it so as per usual please note that everything will be down in the description box so just go back there if you want to know what i'm using but i'll also obviously tell you guys i'm going to start off with a fresh natural base and then we're going to be using the mua makeup academy pro base primer oil with gold flicks this is absolutely stunning i've never actually used it so we'll see what it's like on the skin but we're just going to prime the skin with this okay so for primer is banging if you guys know me you've been following me for a while then you know that i used to use mac essential oils and if i'm honest this is similar if not even more hydrating than that i love a primer oil i like to let it sit for a couple of minutes as well just to kind of sink into the skin because i love moisture i need the hydration in my skin it, you can't see no gold flakes so i don't yeah i can't see any gold flakes but the primer oil itself just feels really nice on the skin for foundation let's keep it affordable i'm going to go in with wet n wild photo focus foundation in the shade desert beige I actually love this shade on my skin. I think it's a beautiful shade. And I love the foundation as well because it's not too heavy. So it's not going to mask you. But it's not too lightweight that you need to keep adding loads of layers. And I love the little spatula applicator that it comes with as well. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pop this all over the skin. And then blend it out using a damp beauty blender. You know I feel like having that primer oil down. My skin looks so much more dewy. I think if you put something that is oil based down or really hydrating then your foundation will mix with it. It will probably shear it out a little bit and give you more of a natural finish, which I love. Um, so that's doing the most for me right now. For concealer, we're going to go in with the Too Faced Born This Way Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer in the shade Warm Sand. And you guys know that I love this already. So I'm just going to pop this underneath of my eyes to get rid of my dark circles and then blend that out with a damp beauty blender as well. So I'm feeling like a super bright under eye. I don't know why, I just want to go really bright underneath the eyes. I'm actually going to be using the Morphe concealer. This is the white one, and I believe this is the Fluidity concealer, so I'm just going to pop this in all the normal places that we would highlight, especially more so underneath the eyes and just down the centre of the face, and then I'm just going to blend this out. Guys, trust me, you have to trust the process. I remember the first time I tried white concealer, it was the Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define, and I was like, why am I doing this? I just tried it. It does work, you don't need to use it, but I mean, if you've accidentally picked one up or you've got one, just try it out. I look a bit too light right now, but we're gonna go in with a cream bronzer, so it's gonna be fine, and it has added the brightness. This is, I would only do this if I'm gonna do like a major full glam look, like I wanna go glam glam, because otherwise I don't feel like you need it at all, but, it's blended out really nicely. For cream bronzer, as I was saying, I'm gonna use the Sleek. This is a contour palette in dark, and I'm gonna go into the two warmer shades just with a fluffy brush, and we're just gonna start bronzing. Now, when I do gold looks, and like glitter gold looks, I love to heavily bronze. I just think it looks so much nicer. So we are just gonna do all the parameters of the face, and we're also gonna do the sides of the nose as well. Guys, you know today, right, I'm gonna be honest with you. I don't know, I think I'm basically going to start my period because, and I've got no problems in talking about it, because I'm super irritable, like, I feel like nothing's going right, I feel like I keep dropping my camera equipment, it's just, I can't really talk to you guys properly, I'm not relaxed, I'm a bit on edge and I was eating so much yesterday, like, I'm hungry all the time, my nipples are sore, do you know what I mean, so, um, yeah. Feel like it's the time of the month is coming let's move on to brows for brows i'm going to use the benefits cub brow in the shade this is the cream gel brow in the shade number five and um, we're just gonna fill in our brows i mean you guys ask me for a brow tutorial a lot but i don't really do much but let's just fill them in i'm gonna fill in the gaps i want them quite face looking so i'm just gonna go ahead and clean them up I'm just now going to set my brows. I'm going to be using the 24 hour brow setter. I love this stuff by Benefit. We're just going to brush this product through the brows. I'm going to go ahead and just clean 
the bottoms of these brows up because I've not had them done. Just take any sort of creamy concealer. This is the Kevin Aucoin Central Skin Enhancer. And just clean it up. Let's move on to that good good. I love doing eyes and I feel like this is again just going to be about eyes and making them really glamorous. I'm actually going to be using the Dose of Colours times Desi times KT Frankation eyeshadow palette and it is, do you know the hype that's around this palette? Well it's real because the palette is so bomb. It's just beautiful. It's very very me as well and that's what I like about it. So I'm going to go in to this really light brown shade which is called Necessary and we're just going to use a fluffy brush and prop this in like a transition but taking it all the way to the brow bone just to kind of give us a little bit of depth and a starting point to our eyes as well. Then we're going to go back into that palette and I'm going to take the warmer shade now called Churro and we're going to just pop this over the top to start warming everything up my transitions in I'm going to go in with this dark brown just on a smaller blending brush and we're going to pop this more so onto the crease now don't worry if it goes on the lid and gets a little bit messy because we will be going over the lid so I'm not too bothered about that I just want to create some definition right in that crease okay so now we're going to put on some gold on the lid now this gold it's kind of like I don't know it's like a yellow gold it's a different gold and because it's got all the pearls and things on it I feel like I need to go for a lighter gold as opposed to a pure gold. So I'm actually going to go into my iconic London. This is like the pigment, eyeshadow pigments palette. And we're going to go into this shade right here. This can be a little bit messy, but we're just going to try this shade, which is a little bit more of a yellow gold. And I'm going to pop this, just wet my brush and pop this all over the lid. You know, I've never been a fan of like yellow gold, but I think with this jewellery, it just goes so nicely. You couldn't go with that darker gold. It just wouldn't go. But I love that iconic London pigment as well. It's stunning. Now that that gold's on, the look is starting to come together. I feel like I've been doing this look for like two hours. I'm actually going to go on top. I, if you know me, I love layering glitters. And we're going to do Wet and Wild. This is the Liquid Catsuit Shimmer Liquid Eyeshadow in the shade Goldy Luxe. And we're just going to pop this on. I'm just going to use the wand and dabble this over the top. Again, it's that kind of yellowish light gold. So I think it'll go really nicely with the look. I'm going to leave my eyes as they are for the time being. I need to clean up and I think we're going to add a wing. But we're going to work on the bottom. I'm actually just going to really brighten underneath the eye with the Bare Minerals. This is the concealer in Well Rested. It's a powder form. I still haven't worked out what it is. But it's a powder form concealer, I believe. But it really brightens. So I'm actually just going to use this and dab this on underneath my eyes. Once that's on, you can really see like it creates like a brightness. But at the same time, I brought it down so it gets rid of your cream bronzer. So I'm just trying to patch that up a bit. I feel like today is such patchwork, you know? Like, I'm doing things and I'm like, mm, don't know. Let's add a tiny bit of churros just underneath the eyes. I don't want it to be really, really smoky, but I just want a bit of definition there. Again, now taking that, that square brush with churro on it. I think I called it churros, sorry. It's churro. I'm going to just dump this on my top waterline and then create like some sort of kind of blended out smoky wing by mixing that with the darker brown just to give this a little bit more of a softer vibe but to also just elongate the eye out. You know what guys, after doing that wing I feel so much better about the eye look. I think it was looking a bit unfinished or I don't know because you never know until you put lashes and everything on but... I feel like that, just with the eyeshadow, and I love doing wings with eyeshadow, I think they look so much nicer, so much softer. I think it just adds to the look, and I like it a lot more now. You guys know that I need that in a corner highlighter, or else I don't feel complete without it. So I'm going to be using, this is the Huda Beauty Matte and Metal Melted Shadows, and I'm going to be using the shade Gold Chains. I actually don't own a gold like it, it's very, very light. And I think it will probably go perfect with this look. And it's got a little bit more of a yellow undertone. So I'm just going to pop that into my inner corners. So initially I feel like I wasn't going to do black in the waterline. But I think after I've added that inner corner highlighter on. Because it's so bright. The eyes just need a little bit of definition. So we're just going to go in with Morphe. This is just a gel liner. I'm just going to line my waterline. I always find it really difficult with like this -y, like Bollywood look. Especially when I'm wearing the jewellery. I just want to do more and more and more. I'm like, oh, do I want to add some glitter? But I think for now... We're going to leave this. It's funny because I came into this with all my makeup popped out. Being like, I'm just going to do a really, really soft 
really soft Bollywood glam and it's just not, it's not doable is it when you've got this jewellery on, you can't do it. I'm going to pop on a little bit of mascara, we're going to use Bad Girl Bang by Benefit. Um, we're obviously going to be applying lashes, so just a couple of coats of this. Now just for my sake, and so I don't work on the eyes anymore, because I don't think I can, but just for my sake, I'm going to apply lashes now. We're going to be using free lashes in the style Vegas, these ones go out longer towards the ends, which will give me more of that feline flick, which I absolutely love. So I'm just going to pop these on. I'm now just going to add a little bit of this mascara on my lower lashes as well. I feel like I'm doing things in a really haphazard manner today, but I'm actually going to go in now with highlighter. Sometimes I find that if I want more of that dewy skin and like glow from within look, then if I do highlight before I do blush or bronzer, then it kind of comes through afterwards. I absolutely hate that kind of line look where it's not blended and I try to avoid that all at all costs. So I'm going to be using the Sleek Makeup. This is the highlighting palette in Precious Metals. I'm going to use a powder in the palette to really highlight my cheekbones quite a lot and then down the centre of the face as well. I definitely feel like I need some colour. So we're going to move in at a blusher. I'm going to use the Revolution Pro. This is the 4K blush palette. And it looks something a little bit like this. How stunning. These colours would be so beautiful on the eyes as well for like spring or summer. I think they'd be so beautiful. But today I'm going to take this coral shade right here. I'm going to pop it on the apples of my cheeks. And then blend it upwards and outwards towards the temples. For lip style, let's just keep it nude. Let's keep it simple and glossy. I'm going to be using Fenty Beauty's. Gloss Bomb in Fussy. And then, finally we've got here after like two and a half hours, I'm just gonna finish everything off with using a little bit of Max Fix Plus. And then, just to finish everything off, I'm gonna add a little, well it's not even little, it's a big tikka, which I'm really excited about, just to complete the look. Okay guys, if you guys know me, or you've seen my Bollywood videos, you know I hate, like I can't put on hair jewelry, like tikkas and stuff. So whilst this is secure, like, it's not going to be secure for long, but whilst it's secure for now, I'm going to do my outro and sign out. I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. I actually love how it turned out. I was a bit, mm, I didn't know how it was going to go, but I love how it turned out. I think it looks fabulous with the jewellery. Let me know your thoughts down below. Let me also know if you want to see more Bollywood tutorials, because I love doing them. They are more on the full glam side, but I love doing them. Let me also know what your favourite part of this look was. I think mine was that gold iconic pigment on the eyes. I think it's just really made the look. Anyways, I'm going to sign out. I love you guys so very much and I'll see you in my next video. Mwah.